The question we are trying to address in this practical is develop a three page web application site using two or three Java EE technologies. So this is a smaller version of our practical number eight and can come for around 40 marks. So let us start with this. Very first, let us create a project. So file, new project, Java web, web application, next. Project name is combined website. You can give any name practically. Next and then finish. Now that this is done, we will be replacing the index.html with index.jsp. Now to do that, we all know that we have to right click here, say delete to index.html. Once it is deleted, you will go over, go to your project, right click new JSP, but now you will give the name as index only. No need to give the extension over here and say finish. So now that our index.jsp is ready, you can go ahead and you can type the following HTML code in it. We are just trying to create a form with two fields and two buttons. The fields are our usual username and password and the buttons are submit and reset. Now once this is done, you will go ahead and you will create a servlet which is called as login servlet. So how to create a servlet? Right click new and servlet. What is name of the servlet? Exact same thing that we have written in the action tag. By now we know if we don't do this then we get a 404 error. So servlet package. I am just using a demo package. So let's say demo p. Next, very important, add the information to the deployment descriptor, otherwise it will give you an error later on. Say finish. Now clean this servlet. In case you remember the code of our requ request dispatcher, we are going to use the same code over here. Because this practical is just a combination of earlier practicals that we have done. As you can see, I am copy pasting this line over here, adding a semicolon, deleting rest of the things. Another change we make, we change it to service method. Now once this is done, we will go ahead and write the code over here. So the first things we need to do over here are very simply fetch the username and password from the index dot jsp page so how to do that very simple request dot get parameter now once that is done we will write the if else part now we are checking whether the password is equal to servlet or no and we are checking whether the username is equal to admin or no if the username and password match then well and good we will go ahead otherwise we will say login failed. So again we are going to include the forward, we are going to use the forward and include method just as we had used it in request dispatcher practical. Now going ahead what we will do is we will incorporate the import file over here. What is the import file students? The import file is very simple. Import Java X dot servlet dot request dispatcher. You can see over here it helps you. You can just go down and enter. No need to type also. Now once this is done, our servlet is ready. Now if you see this code, you will understand that if the username is admin and the password is servlet, then I will open a file which is called as viewlog.jsp. So obviously the next thing we need to do is we have to create this file. Here we are using the forward method and as usual to show that the password is incorrect, we will redirect it to index.html but we are going to include the output that is login failed try again. 
okay so let us quickly create the view log dot jsp file how to create a jsp file right click on your project say new jsp the name should be exactly same as view log dot jsp but do not give the extension so view log standard syntax nothing else to change and save finish now this is our second page now in this page what we will do is we will simply write few objects that we have written in implicit or intrinsic objects of jsp again which of which is an important practical so what we are going to do is we are going to write about three objects that is request response and session okay so once you have done that practical you can easily do this practical also so no need to prepare separately for this practical request dispatcher concept index.jsp concept and uh intrinsic object ya yeah, implicit object concepts once you know you can write this practical on your own now once this is done you can simply run the code and you can check whether you are getting the correct output or no so my username i'm giving the correct username now so admin and correct password so servlet make sure i have entered servlet as small so obviously i'll enter it small you can see over here it is showing me the request object the response object and the session object okay now let us try to run it again but this time i'll provide a wrong username and password so i am providing admin but my password will be wrong password also i am entering as admin so obviously a wrong password you can see it is showing me some error now what is the reason it is showing me the error very simple thing i have said index dot html over here instead of html i should have said jsp that is a very simple correction that i have to make now once i make this correction we will go ahead and try it out again you are able to see login failed try again so students your extension will also matter this is another error that i have discussed during discussing the practicals so that's it for this practical